What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another Stable Diffusion video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and import the Stable Diffusion 1.5 model, the brand new release that's been long awaited, possibly controversial, from the official Hugging Face source. It's a great model, it's been trained even more, and it's apparently had a huge increase in quality and understanding of textual inversion and text to image compared to Stable Diffusion 1.4. My favorite UI to currently use is Automatic 1111's Stable Diffusion Web UI, which you'll find a setup guide for in the description down below if you don't already have this running. I'll show you how to download the Stable Diffusion 1.5 model and import it here, though you can follow the same steps to import it to pretty much any Stable Diffusion UI software. I currently have it installed under WSL, though it doesn't really have too much of an issue where you have it. Just find it and head across to it. For example, for me, I just need to CD into the correct folder. LS, this is what we have here. Let me just explore .exe. This over here, Stable Diffusion Web UI. We have a bunch of different folders, as well as a couple of bad files to start up Stable Diffusion Web UI. But what we're looking for inside of here is the models folder, then Stable Diffusion. And inside of here, we have different Stable Diffusion checkpoints. SDV1.4.ckpt is the Stable Diffusion 1.4 checkpoint. What you're going to want to do is head across to the link in the description down below, the official Stable Diffusion 1.5 release on Hugging Face. You will need a Hugging Face account. Simply sign in, and when you see your profile picture in the top right, you'll be able to click I have read the license and agree with its terms here. Then click Agree and access this repository. Upon doing so, we'll be given the ability to to download the 1.5 model now. To do so, head across to Files and Versions at the very top, look for 1.5 pruned.ckpt, and we can download this here. You can also download EMA only, but I'll be downloading the full 1.5 pruned point here. Click the Download button next to it, and when we do so, it'll start downloading in our browser here. A 7.2 gig file, quite huge to say the least, but at least it's what we're looking for. Just for quick reference, the Stable Diffusion Reddit over here points to this same link. Here's some information about the ongoing controversy, or rather past controversy around this, and it's all been summarized here. Yes, this is legit 1.5, it's not illegal. Yes, it's a minor improvement, it understands text to image slightly better, and no, it's not censored. These, these are the most commonly asked questions, so it's better to get them out of the way here. Regardless, when it's done downloading, all we need to do is drop it into this Stable Diffusion folder over here by simply dragging and dropping it. I have it on WSL, but it has no difference dragging and dropping it into this folder here. You'll more than likely want to cut it and paste it rather than copying and pasting, especially if you're space limited or you're copying and pasting to the same drive. Just move the file from your downloads folder into the Stable Diffusion models folder here. Then we can minimize out of our folder browser and start up Stable Diffusion Web UI. Then Stable Diffusion Web UI will start up. It'll download the updates and it'll more than likely load Stable Diffusion 1.4. Regardless, I'll open up the web browser here heading across to the server URL, and I'll head across to the settings tab at the very top. In here, I'll scroll down to Stable Diffusion at the very bottom, Stable Diffusion Checkpoint, and from the drop down here, I'll be selecting v1.5 pruned.ckpt. Then I can scroll up to the top, apply settings, and looking at the console, it'll be loading the 1.5 pruned checkpoint, and upon completion, I can head back to text to image, and just like that, an astronaut riding a horse has been generated. Usually I crank up the batch count to like four, generate, and we'll get a few options here. Anyways, regardless, this is using Stable Diffusion 1.5, which is great. It should be a huge step above Stable Diffusion 1.4 in many aspects, but what about textual inversion? Does textual inversion still work even with a new checkpoint? Well, it's a good idea to train things again using the new 1.5 checkpoint, but let's try it out. For example, I'll run Technobo, which is a model I trained on myself, and that is plus minus me, it still remembers who I am, or at least it's a textual inversion I traded on myself. It's a very terrible rendition to say the absolute least, but it's sort of got my facial hair and normal hair down, at least mostly. Regardless, textual inversion does still work even if you train them on 1.4. Double checking the settings tab here, yes it is using 1.5. Now quickly checking the Reddit, something I have seen about this model is you don't need to download the huge 7 gigabyte version, instead you can download the smaller 4 gigabyte version, you just need the bigger one if you're going to fine tune it on a ton of different images. 
For me, I'm happy having the bigger one, even if it's just literally a placebo improvement over the normal 1.5. Regardless, overall this should be a huge improvement. There haven't been too many changes in how it works, hence we can just drop it in here and it does work. It's more been changes in how Stable Diffusion was trained, what images they used, etc. It's a bit of a different way of doing things, it's not completely redone in a new way and better way. Regardless, huge improvements. Here's how you set it up in automatic 1111. If you'd like this guide for anything else, do let me know down below. Regardless, thank you all for watching. My name's been Tech Nobody here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.